I know I should have gotten dressed up for you guys to talk to you about this, but quite frankly, this is how I really look at home. So you might as well just see it like it really is. Bye. Um, I just want to talk to you a little bit about eclectic style and how you can kind of pull your house together on a, just a dollar. And um, I would say that is actually the truth about my style is eclectic. Little pieces from swap meets and friends and things people have given me. And I mean, even in my poorest days, I would just frame a gabillion pictures of my family and put them around. And people would always say, God, your house is so homey. And I would say, well, yeah, but it worked. That and candles and fresh flowers from Trader Joe's and your house looks great. But I want to kind of talk to you about the different things that I've done and um, just share what's going on with me. Okay. in my dining room at the old house and I was kind of thinking should I leave these here and lower them or should I move them back into the dining room and bring this mirror out here and hang it horizontal instead of hanging it vertical. Okay, I'm gonna go look at this mirror. Because I think these mirrors are too high because they're too close to the molding at the top but if you brought these down closer to the table, bring everything down but I love, um, I love leaning against the wall pictures. I always think there's something kind of casual or nonchalant, like I kind of just wasn't thinking I put it there and I like that, the informality of that. But I think everything does need to come down. But I love collections. I like that you have these collections like this. Yeah, I think that's what you're gonna have to do because you need to have a little space above the light switch. You can't sit on the white switch, but I think that would look good there. Painting. I think it's just a little too high. I think it should be closer in the middle between the molding and the couch. 